Previously on The Lindsay Allen Show. It's like the farmer's market's closing down, but I'm not quite ready to go home. It's a Wednesday night. I think I hear some music in the background. That must be live after five. Let's go check it out. I feel like people are watching me. Go ahead. Okay, Lindsay Allen here reporting live from Live After Five for Channel Five News. That's a lot of fives. Um, anyways, just kidding. Obviously, I'm not reporting live, but Live After Five is so loud, we gotta have some special equipment with us today. Um, if you don't know, and you haven't been downtown on a Wednesday in the summertime, there is a local event called Live After Five. They feature bands, usually a an intro band and a main band. Um, they feature food and drinks and entertainment and it's all here at McEwen Park in one of the neatest settings that you could view a concert in. So let's go check it out and see who's playing. I think today is Pernicious Souls. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we'll find out, we'll find out. You never know. Let's go check it out. Okay, friends, I am here with the owner and creator of Live After Five. I feel really important that I was able to get Tyler Davis's ear and time for you guys. I know, I'm just showering you with all these compliments. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, but um, what I would love for Tyler to tell us a little bit about is how we thought of Live After Five and when you can come down here and what's available. Well, thank you for uh, taking time and, and attending the event. Uh, First of all, uh, Live After Five is not a, a new concept by any means. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, live in Boise and Idle Falls and was part of their downtown association as a volunteer. And and part of my past growing up in just north of Seattle, I have a lot of friends that are musicians and was help, was able to help them build their series in both of those cities. So when I moved here about 11 or 12 years ago, it didn't exist, so we, we started it here. Um, and it's kind of morphed into what it is currently. Yeah. Our average show is, is five bucks. Um, and the reason we're able to make it so affordable is basically because of our sponsors. Well, I know as a member of the community and a frequent uh, attendee here, this is like one of our favorite things to come and do on a Wednesday. Right. What time do the doors open here? So our doors open at 4.30 on Wednesdays. Uh, generally, we start the third week of uh, June and go through the first week of September. We just started a new series in Post Falls um, in Tullamore Park, which is Highway 41 and Pole Line. Uh, that's on Thursday nights. Same thing, doors open at 4.30. We go till 8.30 at night, uh, five bucks to get in. We route regional, national touring bands to that one as well. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Well, I know that we appreciate everything you brought to our community. And so hopefully we continue to patronize this event and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Well, no, thank you for that. I really appreciate the support. I mean, obviously the community, if they didn't rally behind us, then we'd have, you know, a lot of sponsors and a great venue, but nobody here to, nobody here to uh, take advantage of it, so. Well, thank you. I really appreciate your time. We're gonna get back to enjoying the festivities. Indeed, thank you. And 
you guys can find Live After Five every Wednesday, summertime, here, food, drinks, kids, kid-friendly, tons of entertainment, great spot to hang out at. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, appreciate it.